Hey, historians, welcome back to another great episode of Historically Haunted Vodcast through StreamYard right here on Facebook. My name is Adam Began, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter, your hostess with the mostest, or your host, I should say, not hostess. <laughs> um, this is my second podcast for my new home up in Bangor, Maine, up north. I'm going to have a co-host tonight, just in case my power goes out or anything crazy. I'll have a, a fill-in. Um, you might know her. She was actually my guest last week. She's my partner in crime, and she is a co-founder of Historically Haunted Paranormal, as well as the hostess of the Witchin Life Guide show on Paranormal King Radio Network. Without further ado, Mrs. Heather Kemeniti, Heather Witchin Life Guide. What is up, Heather? Hello, everyone. How are you, Adam? How are you doing? Good, good, good. I'll bring you in closer here for now. Woo! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, we have uh, Amanda Gerard and her uh, her daughter Laura Barrett. They're the both hostesses of the Two Witches and Spooky Spirits podcast. They're joining us shortly. They're running into some car stuff right now, so they'll be up soon. So before they do, or I should say, before they come on, let's touch on some stuff um, that we've done recently. As you know, I, I've moved up north. Mm-hmm. I'm in the Bangor, Maine area, which is, of course, home to Stephen King. Uh, he did grow up in uh, Western, uh, Western. I'm sorry, West Durham, Maine, which is a little bit, a little bit uh, south of Bangor. But he moved there uh, in the 80s, or I think 79, actually, with his wife Tabitha. So we went to some sites, and um, yeah, what? Oh, I think we got someone. Oh, we got someone coming in. Real quick, so we went to some sites in Bangor. We went to his house. For those of you that follow my my uh, YouTube channel page, you guys can see that. So it looks like it's Amanda. It's the mother. It's the leader. Amanda Gerard of Two Witches and uh, Spooky Spirits uh, Podcast. Let's bring her on. What's up, Amanda? Hey, how are you? Hi, Amanda. How are you doing? I'm driving. I was like, oh, my God, I'm working today, but we'll get through it. I pulled over. I'm not working now, so that's good. <laughs> good that's deal. Good, good deal. Yeah. Sound good? Everything sounds good? I know it's kind of a uh, jumping on thing, but you can hear us fine? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool. Good. Cool. Yeah. Laura Let's... should be coming on, too. Okay. I'll look, I'll look for her on the bottom, and I do. I'll bring her right on without further ado. So uh, let's stop right off the bat. Let's just say it's been a while since I've been on your show. Um, and I see you guys are staying busy. You guys have had Chris McKennell, Kenneth Drake, a bunch of people on recently. Um, it's going up really quick. You guys' podcast is blowing up. How do you feel about that? Uh, it, I love doing it. Um, it's, it's just when you're passionate about something, you know, it, it's interesting. So I didn't yeah. think, I never thought we would get any listeners, but. I mean, that's them, so. Yeah. Uh, um, Talia says, hi. Hello, Talia. Joining us in there. And Troy Haney. How's it going, Troy? He's a a couple of investigators from the West Coast. It's funny for those of you that didn't maybe catch the, uh, when I was on her podcast, I was telling her that we ended up seeing some girl at Spencer's or I forget where, Bull Moose, a music place. And she told us she had a podcast and I could have swore it was two witches. (laughs) And we looked up your podcast, and I'm like sending you all these hearts and shit. And you're like, "Oh, what's up?" And I'm like, "Oh, you're not the same girl." But <laughs> you had a fucking cool podcast, and we've become instant friends, all of us since. I know. Um, kind of wild little story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think that like there's no coincidence. Hey, Every everything happens for a reason. And how on earth would us from Maine ever We're find gone. you? It's like we found you from just like a mis a miscommunication, a misunderstanding. And I love that. Yeah. I love how the word will throw you little little treats here and there. Yeah. Um, and I remember when I saw when I started looking at you guys, like I I couldn't tell you. I thought you guys were sisters. Mother no. and daughter. Holy <laughs> cow. I thought you, I literally, I'm like, this can't be the right ones. This is, that's not a mother. That's not a yeah. mother daughter. This can't be. So kudos to you on that. Holy well, shit. Like, 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 yeah. Well, you have a child too, right? You have a daughter, right? I do. I do. I have two. So um, you're young too, girl. You look I know. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank you. It's, it's hard. Parenting uh, definitely takes a lot out of you for sure. Adam yeah. sees it. He's uh he's he's been there with me for five years, kind of were the worst five years I would say of my youngest's life. The teens, the, the teens. teens. <laughs> so you know. So so um I want to get you guys feel free to ask questions in the chat. John Huntington says hi, Lilac Welkins, uh Wakens back. She was here last week too. Um, I'm gonna go for those of you that don't know, of course, we know Amanda a little bit, not personally, but we talked to her, so we know a lot. But Amanda, tell us about one of your favorite places to go. And I know where it is, but let's talk about that, your favorite town on the east coast, um, anyway. Really, any part of New England I love. Um, 
I'm very Southern and my husband's family is from Maine and he took me to Maine and I fell in love with it and I didn't want to come home. <laughs> and then we stopped in Salem and yes. ever since I stopped in Salem, I have to go every year now. It's like a, a every you. year thing. I can't, I can't explain it, but I'm, I know Heather knows the feeling cause she's into witchcraft also. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, you feel like you're home. Feeling. Yeah. You feel like you're home. You feel area. like you're welcome. You're not, you're not being looked at judgmentally Judged. by wearing, yeah. looking how you wear, what your, how your hair looks, mm -hmm. um, which is, which is, which, you know, um, witch trial, you know, the witch hunts that's, that's still going this to this day, just I because know. just, it's still going to this day. So well, it's, um, I tell you one thing, not to cut you off, but I fell in love with a witch. And what, what they say, they say, uh, two, two witches is better than one, but three bit, uh, witches, <laughs> you're having fun. And here's the third witch. What's up, Laura? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. What an introduction. Hey, but that's cool. We are bitches sometimes. Ah, you? Cheers. <laughs> if you're, if you're not, the world's going to eat you up, right? You gotta, Amen. Sure. Laura, how are you, sweetie? I'm good. I was running around when, uh, you called me for some reason. I thought we were doing it at seven thirty, so I went to the grocery store, and then I was like, "Ah." <laughs> I'm around. sorry if y'all see me moving around. I'm trying to get to where I can get comfortable because I've been in the car all day. So. Oh yeah. shit! I'm, I'm sorry. Well, that's... <laughs> you guys look and sound great. Everything's good. ACDC, fuck yeah. Yeah. That's dope. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. She got a little drink too. Killer. So uh, so let's. Let's talk about some of your bucket list. Um, I know we've talked before, but I have, we have some new listeners. Oh, that's killer. Oh, that's killer, Laura. I love the eyes. Yeah. There's a bar down here in Atlanta called Little Five Points, and they sell these mugs. Oh, my God. I love them so much. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. Um, let's start off. I'll ask both you. I know Laura's busy right now. She's just settling in, but man, I'll go to you first. What's a place that you'd like to see, you think, this year, or, or at least maybe not, or at least next year? What's a bucket list you'd like to do? For like a city or a, a, a haunted place. Um, you talking to me? Either of you. Well, her first. Or the, yeah, I know you're busy, so I'll ask her first. <laughs> go to. Uh, I'm in Texas now. Well, I'm in Louisiana, but I want to go to the um, the Myrtle Plantation. I've drove by it, but I haven't mm. never stopped there. I pass it all the time. That's one place I want to stop that I haven't stopped yet. So. Yes, Myrtles is big. I've heard it's Louisiana or is that Arkansas? It's yeah. in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Okay, Louisiana. Um, hey, uh, I, someone loves your mug there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what about you, Laura? What about you, Laura? I know you've told me before. Oh, kitty cat. So what about you? <laughs> Every witch is gonna have to cat. You know that. Every, yeah, there's got to be a familiar somewhere somehow. Of course. Laura, what do you need to get to this year or next year first? If you really had to pick one, as far as haunted locations or historic or whatever. I have four towns actually. Yes, I love that. Oh, I got more than that. I got. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, shoot them at me. I love it. Let's hear them. Let's rattle some off. Yeah, but uh, how many you got, Laura? How many places? I do want to go to Bobby Mackey's. I've wanted to go to Bobby Mackey's younger though. That's in Kentucky. Is that the well at the gateway to hell in the basement? Is like a well, and they say it's the gate to hell. That's pop. yeah, okay. I forget. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. That's yeah, crazy. I yeah, I haven't been yet, but I heard that's pretty fucking wild. Um, yeah, I want to want to go to uh, Gettysburg too. Mm. Yeah, I also want to see the Winchester. Yeah, what is the, it? Uh huh. That's the other one, the Winchester House. Oh, in uh, San Diego, I think, or San Francisco, California, something like that, right? I think it's in yeah. San Francisco, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty wild house. The rooms that go to nothing and staircases to the ceiling and shit. What a yeah. wackadoo. Oh, boy. It's, like, it's like life. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. But yeah, have you been? Have either one of y'all been to the winter? I've never been. I've never been west of uh, Iowa. That's the farthest I've gone is Iowa. Uh, I went to the Axe Murder House in Vasilla, Iowa, where the six people died uh, in the nineteen twenties, I think, or something. But that's the farthest I've been, unfortunately. Um, what about you? Have you ladies traveled out west at all? I know you've been to the East Coast, Amanda. You said, have you had a chance to go to? 
Are you said Texas, right? Or no? It's a bucket list of yours, right? I was in Texas today. That's where I'm in Shreveport now. I'm on my back. But oh, very they have cool. All, all kinds of hunt around here. I just don't. Uh, I stayed in Louisiana some, and I stayed over near one of the rivers. I think, um, hey, Mary. I, I'm not really sure what river it is, but supposedly the river that it is is there's like it's ha like a haunted island and i can't remember the name of it but it's like so many people have seen this um it was like an old voodoo lady and she was like throwing herself in a boat and they see her all the time but i can't think of the name of it it'll come to me later one whoa day. like a shaman or like some old school voodoo priestess or shaman or something yeah stays there like they see people see her all the time and oh uh curse of lula rosa Yep. Oh, La Rosa. Yes, I fucking what a great movie. I think that's part of the Conjuring universe. Maybe not, but yeah, that's yes. She drowned her son in the water, then herself or something, right? And she's crying. Yeah. Holy that, shit. I mean, it's crazy. There's that, and then there's so many voodoo things like down here. It's just a bunch of stuff. But I've been, I've just been so busy. I haven't really had time to stop, and I'm so tired all the time <laughs> yeah yeah on your own. it needs to be an extra day eight days a week like the beatles would say man seven just doesn't cut it <laughs> not not at all so how do y'all how do y'all feel about the summer solstice starting today it's a great question good, good call laura <laughs> yes <laughs> you know for me it's funny because every you know Hey, as UFO we, Fred, as what's we, up, UFO Fred? Hi, Fred. As we all go through phases, we go through these phases of life, and like sometimes summer solstice or the autumn equinox, all that, it, it hits me different each and every time, depending on what's going on in my life, going on and around the world. Because you know how we all, we're energized, we're going to get affected by all these things. I'm super excited for this one, though, because I'm already wanting to put the summer away and just go to fall. I just want to like, yeah, not to rush it. I get it. I get it. But I feel like my best time when I can reset, reset and really gain control of my life is in the fall. And that's, I'm ready for it. I can't do shit in the summer. It's too hot. I'm grouchy. I don't yep. want to do anything, but so the fall, I, I, that's what I'm excited about. So I'm the world is glad. A hot <laughs> yeah, so, bad. so bad. How about you, Adam? What, what's what's your thought? You, you guys, you guys live up in uh, Maine, don't you? Yes. Yep. You want to buy smoke? Yeah, you wanna you wanna talk about hot? Come down here where it's been like what? I think the highest was like one fifteen last week. I couldn't. I don't know how you guys do it. I I really well, we don't. Get, we 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 get the humidity. I stay inside here. with my air conditioning. That's how I do it. <laughs> yeah. God damn. You know, it's because it's because it's because witches run cold in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's hot and I got on a hoodie. See. Every yeah. Time. Yeah. My black hoodie and stuff all the time. <laughs> Even no, that's 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 strictly her. She's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, we're all fucking wearing black. If that's I guess fucking. It's the best color, is it not? <laughs> Actually, Amanda and Laura, Amanda and Laura, check this out. I bought this in Salem last week. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I like her. Oh, I like that. Surprise! Guess what? We're coming there the same time that Ken. Is having his show, so we're gonna all try to get in a big bunch together. No way, you coming down or up? Uh, yeah, up, <laughs> yeah, it'd be up. Hey, you're coming up. <laughs> Shit, hit us up. We'd, we'd love to go. Fucking, let's do some, go look for. Yeah, is it Massachusetts? He's he's coming to or going to or doing? Yeah, what's Massachusetts, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, we're gonna stay in Salem and uh. We decided to change dates because I didn't know what day he was going to be there. I figured it out the other day when we talked to him. So um, we changed the date. So we'll be up there from the 26th through the 31st. Nice. Betsy Brown, she's in black too. I, I was going to say uh, real quick too, Amanda, now that you're touching on that. If I remember right, you guys said you stayed in Salem every year until COVID out in Gloucester, right? We talked about yeah. that last show. Uh -huh. so that's so that's a what? tradition, more or less, I, I guess, you know. I don't know what, I think it's the and the new people, um, I think 
maybe modeling or something. But I'll find out. I'm going to check. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, another uh, the struggle is real. Spirits are draining, and they pull your warmth right out of your bones. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's get back that on makes subject sense. a little bit. Um, I want to get back on subject real quick. Either of you, actually, all three of you, since I guess technically whatever. Um, how do you feel about that? Do you feel drained when you're by spirits? Let's start with Laura. Um, how do you feel like around certain spots? I know we talked about um, your passed away aunt or grandmother before. Yeah. So it depends for me. Um. I don't always get the feeling that I'm around them. Um, Never mind, I'll just leave it the way it is. <laughs> Amanda. Sorry. I don't I don't always get the feeling that I'm around them, but um when I am I do I do realize that my like my anxiety like in my depression I'll sleep a lot more. Like I already take naps, but like I'm I sleep a lot more when I have encounters and it, it'll be like a week to two weeks sometimes before I can actually like have any energy to do anything. Hmm. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, well, I need, um, I love, I love that you say that Laura, because I totally, yeah. totally feel that like there's times where I'm literally just drained and I can't do anything. Adam knows I can't, I can't do anything. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just tired. I'm tired. I, I don't just know. Don't you know? I just don't want to get out of bed. Like, there's times where, like, last weekend, I was, I was like, yeah, weekend's coming, da 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 Fucking Friday rolls around, I'm like, no. I don't have energy energy no. to like, even get up and make myself anything to eat. I slept, like, all through Friday and all throughout Saturday. Yeah. You get energy fucking Wednesday, here comes Friday, and, you're, and it's like you've partied all week, but you didn't. Yeah. Amanda, what about right. you? How do you feel about, especially when you go to Salem? I mean, you feel pulled, like you say, it's magical, but do you feel sad or, or energy drained in certain spots of Salem? Or Yeah. Actually, I don't feel it as much there as I do here. I think it's because I feel more home there. Hmm. Uh, so I'm more relaxed. But, um, like, when I'm around a bunch of people here, it's really bad. But for some reason, when I'm up there, it don't really bother me as bad. I don't know wow. why. You know, I was talking to Kenneth about that. A great, a lot of people will say that graveyards make them exhausted, but they make me happy. Like I feel at peace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's not like it's a tragedy happened there. I mean, they're buried, but no one got murdered. I mean, some people do in cemeteries. That's very rare. But <laughs> Kenneth Drake, though, what an amazing soul. I mean, just talking to him, and I like especially when it's audio, not visual, and I can just hear his voice. It almost puts me in a trance. Yeah, he was right. like, I was like, oh. Yeah, Ooh. don't don't listen to him while driving. <laughs> and I he's like, he's like, he's like, I tell you, Adam, it's the spirit, and you're a wonderful person, and the wonderfulness around you. And I'm like, oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck's happening? So yeah, you have me visual next time because that radio shit put me not to sleep in a bad way. He's just very soothing, and he's a yeah, and I'm, when you guys had him, I, that was yeah. a great. And you guys give me a shout out. I heard that that was killer. Appreciate yeah, we that. Always, we always shout you out. You yeah, do. Yeah. No, you do. Two witches and spooky spirits, not fucking scary. I was stoned this morning and fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great, Adam, but we're spooky, not scary. I'm like, and Amanda's like, oh, we're both. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no one can it's find fun. that. I got to fucking. It's fine, but that's like I always try to put Heather in there too. So I don't you want still to come on your show. Amanda, put her on the hot spot. Tell her she's going to come on your show. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it. I'll do it. <laughs> yes. Uh, How are you liking your new house, Adam? Oh, uh, yeah, it's temporarily set up, but let me show you. But that's what I want my podcast background to be. My Mike Myers mask and stuff, my sheet mask. So Heather's out in Saco. She's back in Old Orchard. She's about three hours away from me. I'm out here in fucking... Tomahawk country. I, I like, he just brought home this morning, because he left this morning, and he just brought home Stay Puffed, because Stay Puffed's been with me for, what, three years? Waiting for you to get your own place, right? Oh, a while. Okay. Yeah, and then Dude, you're, you're, two you're, hours and 45 minutes yeah. from Heather to get here. I where I live is oh, like, oh, I love him. My right? oldest oh, daughter has him. the same I wanna, one. I want to like that to hug at night. It is. It's so squishy. I tell it you, is. where I am, it's UFO country, kind of uh, Wendigo country, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm more scared of the people sometimes. They run around on four-wheelers with shotguns on their back. This is fucking don't give a fuck country mean, I tell you that. It's, cr 
It's, not, it's, it's different. It's different. There's the weed growing in the backyard. They're all walking around with rifles. I'm like, holy fuck. I don't know whether they'd be scared or be happy. Ammo for sale on the back of the trucks. That's no shit. That's a, that's a normal day living in the South, so I'm not really surprised. See, so yeah. it is country-ish. It's not South. It's Maine. But to me, this is country life. There's to, like one stop to me, by the street. You know what I mean? To me, like the country, because like, is it country life? Is it Southern life? To me, it's more primal life. I feel like that type of life, having ammo for truck on the back of, you know, ammo for sale on the back of a truck and people just doing their snowmobiles and they're hunting, that's living. That's real. Like not going to the office and typing all day. Nothing, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Nothing. But I wrong do like my that. snow. There's a but, lot of snowmobile trails, yeah. a lot of ice fishing. We're a half hour from Stephen King's house. I don't know if you guys saw the video. Me and Heather went to Stephen King and uh, the pet cemetery where he filmed. He was the Reverend in Pet Cemetery. That's in Maine. We went there and I got to go fucking look at Georgie's grave site and Carrie's grave site. All that good yeah. shit. You're actually right. Um, my husband's family. Um, hey. Bar Harbor. Bar Harbor. Oh shit! There's a lot of pirate stories there. A lot of pirate mm. ghost stories. Bar Harbor is gorgeous, Amanda. Wow. I, I yeah. love the whole area of the just the. I love how y'all have like like the deer here. We have deer in the yard, but they won't come up to us because people like kill them and stuff so much. <laughs> <laughs> they they know better. They're like oh, oh. they're like it's just so much more peaceful up there that's why i want to move up. what's yeah, what's really great army. what's really great about northern maine um and Thanks, uh, Nate. <laughs> please please all, all you know is you can you you feel like you're the minority to the animals uh -huh. up there you feel like you're as humans i feel like there's less of me than there are of like obviously i'm not talking about the, the ants and bugs those are in thousands trillions of numbers i'm talking about like wildlife in the in the trees there's just unfortunately so we saw about five dead deer because there's mm -hmm. so many deer up here people hit them so there's a lot of they're dead crossing deer. the crossing we, through the forest we put our roads right through their their you know i once had picked up a turtle the turtle almost bitter that was fucking hilarious he tried to get me he was like oh you know you, honestly you're, you're both into the witchcraft you're both into that your stuff you must love your animals too though amanda laura I literally stop in the middle of the road and pick up turtles i've stopped in the middle of the expressway to get a dog out of the road Aww. good for you bless you for that because the i white witch that takes a lot of you know it's it's nerve-wracking you got tr cars going all by you but you yeah the, the love of that just getting that dog that's brave and good awesome yeah oh hey amanda and we do get we do get a live chat everybody shit i got a question for both of you <laughs> ladies. yeah um, we're just like talking about all this other shit not potato <laughs> too <laughs> Sorry, guys. If I if I missed your question, ask again. I've totally spaced it. I'm not even yeah, we're having a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. Facebook user, which I think is Nathaniel Elwell. Every time he joins on, it says that he's a good dude from New Hampshire. What's up, Nate? If that's you, this is Nate. Yeah. Uh, both you uh, are you are you originally from Alabama or are you both from the South? Like, where exactly are you guys from, uh, ladies from? We are from Georgia. It's a mother daughter. Believe it or not, Laura, they're not sisters. I'm not saying Laura mm -hmm. looks old. I'm saying Amanda looks young. So, uh, <laughs> does Laura look old? Does Amanda look young? What's going on? And I love Laura's kind of fucking look. You it's want cool. you want to know? That's sadly the story of my life. Everybody's like, "Oh, you guys look like you could be sisters," and she looks like that's, the younger one. I'm that's like, yeah, me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's me. That's Not me and my either. oldest. Me. <laughs> Me and my oldest daughter were only 16 years apart. I was 16 when I had her. So I I remember bringing her into middle school for a parent-teacher conference, and they wouldn't let me in at first. Yeah. Because I thought I was a student at the middle school. And I'm like, I'm a parent. And I, yeah. So. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Debbie. Debbie's an actress. Um, she lives in Maine. She has a got, fire pit. Yeah, she got a fire pit going. She was at the Warren Con, too. So, hey, uh, for, since a lot of people, just in case they didn't listen, I want to talk. Cause I, oh, she, oh, Laura. Hey, Jetta girl. Hey, Laura, if you don't mind, let's talk about that ghost story about the car. I'd love to hear that again. And I'm sure some people haven't heard it yet. So I'd love to talk about that. You know, I actually have a very interesting thing to tell you about that because I told you that I had a reading with Nicole. Yes. Um, um, uh, Kyle, right? My aunt came through in that reading and she, like she confirmed that she was actually with me. I wasn't Sorry. just. Oh, you're all set. Okay, you're good. Go ahead. You're good, Amanda. We're talking about the car story with your sister. Is that okay. your mom's sister? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she actually confirmed that she was with me and everything. Uh, CJ had this um, 
this cross that was made out of like rubber, like that uh, one of my aunt's son's friends made me and it was hanging up in the window. And she was like, yeah, she wants to let you know that sh she saw the cross. She was there. And I was like, yeah, there's no way Nicole could have known that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you called that Lori as soon as you said it, because it wasn't in her car anyway, right? Yeah. yeah it, it, and you guys her. were close. And yeah, she said that she, she she told her she jerked the wheel. That's why I don't remember going into the ditch. Well, okay, I mean, yes. and oh, hold, didn't, on, hold on, one second. Oh, hold on. Okay. rewind. Tell that story because we know I already know the outcome now. But those of you listening, uh, Laura was involved in a car accident. Laura, bring everybody up to speed. Um, so I was in a car accident about two or three years ago. Um, I was driving my boyfriend's PT crew trip. My aunt had been passed away for about a good year and a half at that point. Um, or almost two years, and my grandma had her car, um, and she couldn't drive it because my grandpa was handicapped, so she just let CJ have it. Um, and I was coming down the hill going home uh, from my grandma's, and um, the these cars were stopped at the bottom of the hill, and I had plenty enough time to stop, but it was wet, so I was kind of sliding when I was stopping. Um, and I was pretty much faced with this decision of, do I either drive onto the oncoming lane of traffic or do I like just drive off the road down this, it was like on this hill, um, that went down. Like it, it was kind of like around a top of, it's not really a mountain, but. Uh, I know what you're saying, like a big, yeah. Like a oh. If yeah. you know what a ravine is, it's kind of like that. Yep. Um, yep. And there's one of those giant, giant telephone poles, like the big ones. And it's right there. And I was like, well, if I drive into this ditch, I'm probably going to die. Or, um, you know, I'm just going to. But turned to look to me and to my right. And I, I was seeing her, not with my eyes. I was seeing her like in my third eye. Provisionals, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She kept, she kept first, actually. I smelled her. She has this perfume that she her and my granny. Um, it's uh, Oscar. Uh, so it's a very. And I knew when I smelled that that she was actually there, but still, you know, you try and you try and help out. Of um, and she was just yelling at me. She was yelling at me. She was like, drive into the ditch, drive into the ditch. And I was like, if I drive into this ditch, I might die. She's like, if you drive onto that on I mean, like, I'm going to die. And I was like, well, well let's go to two evils. Yeah. That, yeah. And that's scary as fuck. No one wants to make that choice. Uh, she was yeah. just like, I've got you. Just trust me. Like, just turn into the ditch. And I got so close to crushing this dude's car. Like, I yeeted last minute, and my left side of the front of the car actually hit his back end. But I'm glad that I went into the ditch instead because there was actually a man that was behind me that I didn't know was behind me at first. Giant like SUV. Um, and he completely crushed the car like um and then he apparently he was he was wanted or something or he wasn't supposed to be dry, he had warrants and he got out and he ran. But I was in that tiny ass PT cruiser, so if I wouldn't have moved out of the way, I definitely would have died. I would have, and I'm short, so I have to sit close to the steering wheel. I would have, I would have definitely died. I wow! Pulled and this fucking guy bail. He left the scene of an accident and everything. Wow. Yeah, and when he, when, when he did that, the in front of the guy that I clipped, the oncoming lane of traffic to get away from everything. He actually almost killed these two older women. They were like eight in their nineties. It was a car full of older women, and just like wow. But I when tell the you, when I, the I, got there, I was in shock because I'm like, oh my oh god, yeah. what happened? Because you know, you've, you've been in car accidents, Adam. You you know that it's like it's so fast, but it's also it's it's, it's fucking it's Matrix style. It's like. Yeah. Reality stops, or it's like, yeah, it's fucking weird. It's, weird. it's so bizarre. Yeah, it's really weird. And then um, I was just in shock the whole time, and the paramedics got there, and they, they had to pry the door open. I didn't even know it was that bad, but I was completely closed in. I couldn't get out. So they had to they had to break the door off. 
and they were like asking me if I was okay and everything. And I was like, yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think I'm, I don't feel hurt, but then again, it could just be the adrenaline. And um, then the police came and talked to me and they were like, they told me what happened. And I was like, well, there was two cars that were stopped at the very bottom of this hill. I had plenty of time to stop. I made sure they knew that so they wouldn't give me a ticket for falling too close. Like I had plenty of time to stop. I saw them all the way at the top of the hill, but because of the fact that it was raining, I was sliding while I was trying to stop. Um, That's fucking clicked, scary I itself. Did, I told them I did clip the guy that was in front of me in the very back before the guy completely totaled his car. Um, and I just drove off into the ditch. And they were like, how did you get parked the way you're parked? And I'm like, what do you mean? And then they're like, are you good enough to like get out of the car? And they're helping me. And I was like, yeah, I'm looking. I parked perfectly beside this pole like this. This is the this is the pole. And this is me. Mm-hmm. And I'm coming from a hill that's like all the way down. So the way they were looking at it is you should have been like way like off. There's no way like if you came from back there that you parked like this. It's like. <laughs> You literally, it was literally in your guardian angel, your aunt, whatever you want to call it, hand, and it almost like it took care of it itself. Yeah, that awesome. reading that I had with Nicole was just crazy though, because she was like, Nicole's she was good. Like, your your aunt is telling me that it wasn't just her; it was her and your grandma and your your other your other guardian angels and stuff. Because my grandma actually came through, also my great grandma, technically. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That was- yeah, I had a wreck right before the year before that. Or no, it wasn't even a year, was it, Laura? It was a few months, wasn't it? Yeah, it was literally like three or four months before I had mine. And I, I hit or I didn't hit somebody. A lady hit me at sixty five miles an hour and broke my collarbone. Oh. And my rotator cuff. So I always told Laura, I was like, Do if you get in a wreck, do not get out of the car. Because wow. I got out of the car, and when I got out of the car, me being nice, you know, going to check on the lady, and then she was a bitch. I don't can say that on here, but she was- <laughs> um, real quick, just real quick, because people are blowing mm-hmm. up in chat. Heather's got a bulldog, and I muted her because that fucking bulldog is going. Rah, rah. It was going. What's that noise <laughs> in the background? There's a ghost. There's a ghost. I heard it when the man is talking. I don't hear it anymore. Well, I go, it's the fucking bulldog. That's why I, I thought that was my. I thought that was my mom's phone. No, I was like, you know, I thought it was you in the on. kitchen, but that's why. Hold on, listen, everybody, quiet, listen. No, he's not going to do it. She's quiet now. Oh, he's so. Sure. I was about to I thought it was Laura in the kitchen. I didn't want to be rude. Go, Laura, what the fuck are you doing? Making a smoothie, but I put two and two together, go, it's the goddamn American And you know what? You know what's funny? Like, I don't even hear it. I hear it when someone's like, Oh, is that it's your dog? No, they're all saying in the chat, I don't hear it anymore. It's not as bad. It's only when Adam was talking. I go, yeah, it's because it's the fucking bulldog, guys. I figured it out. Problem solved. I debunked that one. So about the (laughs) The, the story that Laura was telling, I absolutely, Christ. like, it's great that Nicole gave you that reading and told you, you know, because, Nicole yeah, Hill, you, right? yeah, you didn't, um, yeah, you weren't, you weren't in control of that, that steering wheel. Those are your guardian angels. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's cra- do you think, it's crazy. do you think they were all there? I thought someone hitting a bong. Look at that. <laughs> <Do you, look. laughs> I thought someone hitting a bong, yeah. <laughs> she, she does sound like I that. got one somewhere. I got, oh, check I know, it out real I quick. I did like, buy a lobster claw bowl. 40 heard, bucks. Like, it's a lobster claw. You can smoke weed out of it. That's me. Yeah. I have a sea I have a seashell that I burned in my sage in from when we went to Salem. Oh, is this right? it's like one of those it's a family trip. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Hey, I thought it was your bong and then I was like, hang on, she's got a bulldog, but I didn't say it. I I thought that's what that was. I, I can hear it going, wah, wah. Yeah. I can sound like a spin cycle on a fucking, wah, <laughs> she, wah. She's really bad sometimes. She really is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Good thing to bring her to Lizzie Borden's. We wouldn't have fucking holy. We would have woke every spirit up in that house. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, all right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Lilac. Um, yeah, the, the lobster cold uh, bowl is pretty good. Um, mm-hmm. So Amanda and Laura, so let's let's talk about a little bit because like I say it's hard because I suck. I know so much about you, and no one's really asking questions in chat. But I got to be the reporter and ask questions. When did you guys start the podcast, and what gave you the idea to start Two Witches and Spooky Spirits uh, podcast uh, on Anchor well, FM? I started. I came up with the idea, but me and her both listen to podcasts all the time. And we were just talking one day, and we were like, you know what? We have a lot of ghost stories and. Uh, we just want to tell everybody, you know, because a lot of people just stereotype you and think that 
you know, everybody's lying about all this stuff. And we was like, no, we're going to make a podcast and we're going to tell all of our stories and let people know that people aren't crazy, that this really does happen. And then also just, uh, we got more into our spirituality last year and our witchcraft and everything. And it, it was just like everything came together and I told her, and then she come up with the name, and that's how it oh, happened. Oh, so Laura's the brains of the name. No shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What What you made you think? Just I mean, just came out of your mouth. Two, uh, two witches, spooky spirits, or did mm-hmm. it? Just... My it mom said a- that she wanted she wanted something witches in it, and then yeah. I was like, "Well, it's a ghost podcast." And I used to listen to a lot of Skrillex. <laughs> like I used to. Li- they have a song. Bang called, rang. Uh, Mm-hmm. <laughs> they have a song called uh, "Scary S- Scary Monsters." Spirits and, and nice sprites. Sprites, yeah. Yes, I love that fucking "Kill Everyone" album. is a great album, and yeah, she goes, oh my god, it goes. Wah. I'm sorry to me to cut you off, but shit, Skrillex is dope. I'm sorry. Well, it was partly it was partly that, but we kind of sat on it for a couple of days. Mom, when it, what were you, what were you gonna name it, Mom? You had some weird name for it. I was like, no, that sounds like ass. Don't name it that. <laughs> Oh, no, it was Growing Up Haunted. That was what it was. Mm. And she said that sounded... Ah. <laughs> It'd be kind of a cool book, I think. Yeah, well, you know what? You you do your little offshoot of a book or short story or something, and you do that. You keep that right there. Because obviously, it's, it's you know what I mean? That wants to come out. Yeah. yeah that's what it... And my point of that was this telling that I grew up my whole life in a haunted house, so... Oh, that's why I came up with it. And then she's let's talk like, about that, Amanda. What, oh, did you ever fight a little bit? No, my mom is my sister still lives there. No way. They live next door to each other. So my mom's house is on the bottom of the hill, and then my sister's house is on the other hill. So granddaddy built those though, right? Yeah, my grandpa Whoa. built three houses. Wow. And my all three of them. Yeah, my aunt that she's talking about lived in one, and then um, my mom lived in one, and my aunt lived in one. So my grandma got really sick and wasn't able to live, you know, by herself. And then uh, she lost the house and everything. And uh. my mom, I actually, and, and it's weird because my mom was going to buy the house, and I ended up finding the house for her. And found the price and everything, and she she bought the house back, which was my grandma's house. But anyways, um, that whole area is haunted. Um, my mom's house now, um, just every house, all three of them. So if if your grandfather built those fucking things, it, and has anybody died in the house? Or you think it's just the land's got spirits? It's, it's the Both. land. It's the land because my mom and people have died there. My grandpa. Oh, died. Laura with the truth, both. Actually, and just because it's haunted, people go haunted. It, it's not always bad. They're no. not good at, you know what I mean? What's up, Brian? Oh, I know the new time slot on Tuesdays. I know. Well, and Saturdays, would... everybody does shit on Saturdays. No one wants to fucking tune in at 8 o'clock and watch this shit. They're all ghost hunting in fucking sanatoriums and shit. So I switched mm-hmm. to Tuesdays, you know. But... Wow, Amanda, no shit. I mean, so this has been around you and, of course, Laura. Um, since y'all were fucking basically pretty young, is that fair? Yeah, we pretty much that my whole life. Um, we had like light bulbs would unscrew and fly across the room. Water Whoa. would water would turn on at nighttime. Nobody would be in the it would just be me and my mom. The water would turn on, we'd go turn it off, then it didn't turn back on. Mom uh, the, the mom. dish huh? Tell them tell them about the crying baby. They want to hear. They'd want to hear about that one. Oh, okay. Listen up, historians. Listen yeah. up. Okay, so in our first one of our first episodes, uh, we talked about it. There is a lady that is a spirit in in that house. It's the one my sister lives in that used to be ours when we grew up. Um, we only seen her when all of us were pregnant. I seen her when I was pregnant. My mom. Wow. And my sister. And we all told each other what she looked like, like described her to a T. And it was just like the the hairs just stood up on all of us. We were like, oh, my God, you know, like we've all seen the same lady. But anyways, we think we're pretty sure the lady that comes to us, like the family members, 
when they're pregnant is a lady that died in childbirth because my mom said someone died on that property having a baby. And we think it may be from like the Civil War era because there's a Civil War ghost off that this comes up on the porch and he comes up there like at five o'clock every day. He used to when we were younger when my mom cooked. Like you would see him literally walk by the window and start whistling and then walk back the other way. Oh my fucking god, that's got me gooseies. Oh yeah. shit, Civil War ghost freaked me out. Wow, no shit. The so baby had, cries. What's that, the, Laura? The Go baby ahead. still cries. Yeah, like the baby. It got after my cousin the other day. He was in the shower and he's. I hear. I hear. A damn baby. Where's the baby at? And then my sister's like. Uh, it's no baby. Uh, you know what that is? And he's like, okay, I'm moving. So he moved back to Pensacola. He got <laughs> Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. Uh, it was that uh, house is just creepy. That baby is creepy. I was going to say that real quick. Nathaniel no. says, I'm pretty sure it's Nathaniel. It must be. Um, I was going to say, it sounds like it was a midwife, almost like it could be a midwife, someone that took care of baby that died, but that could be true too. Someone that gave birth. It's definitely a motherly type of figure or a uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. To visit you yeah. just during pregnancy, that's not bizarre, but it's, I mean, that's. We no. actually seen her right, one. Yowza. My brother was going through a lot of traumatic stuff and he actually almost died. And he said he saw her and she like shot the life back into him. <coughs> wow. So, like yeah. saying, like, like saying not your time, not your time. Mm -hmm. What's well, really interesting. I find that like, so. The pregnant women were the ones who were able to see her at first. Yeah. Um, and what I find interesting is, is, do you think it was the the women being pregnant, or do you think it was the children they were carrying that might have all had the ability to make her be seen, too? You know, I've never thought about that. Yeah, I love that cup. That's oh. a great cup. That's good. That is a fantastic question. Yeah, I mean, what do you yeah. think, Amanda? I mean... I don't really know. That's a good question. I mean, that's a good... I've never thought of that, but I mean, I mean that whole, but the whole property is on also on burial grounds too. So <laughs> of course, of course, that's why I'm not scared of things because I grew up with that my whole life. So I was going to say you guys were kind of raised on that. So like, to, like mm -hmm. when I watch horror, like me, I saw my grandfather die in front of me, like flatline, he didn't get shot or nothing, but he flatlined, all the fluids came out, his eyes rolled back, everybody cried right in the right in the hospital at nine years old i saw that and after you see shit like that horror movies don't really fucking matter it's all funny not nope. funny but it's, like when you've lived tragedy like you ladies have i think all of you even heather heather's uh stepdad was dead in uh inside her house for about two weeks until they came back from vacation and found him in a puddle of black goo during the summertime remember that heather <laughs> that but you know that's my aunt the one that you're talking about she, you guys found her we didn't thank god because we would have had a heart attack um, she actually, my mom was going to visit her and she got a bad feeling and then changed her mind for some reason. But wow. if, my mom, if my mom would have went and found her, my mom would have had a heart attack because the, she, she had already been dead like at least five days and they didn't find her for like 10 days also. So. That's the one that came to Laura because you said your yeah. grand was there. Uh, not mm -hmm. Alex. Uh, was it not Alex Gaska? Who, who gave her a reading? Nicole. Nicole. Nicole Cahill said that uh, Alex Gaska is another great medium, but uh, Nicole Cahill is fantastic. She yeah. said your grandmother and aunt were there, so that must be the mother of your aunt, which would be your mother, too. Mm -hmm. I thought the bed thing in Becky was a Tyrannosaurus Rex fucking teeth, uh, Laura. <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, is that T Rex head? It looks like T Rex teeth, but it's. Oh, no, bed. that's a bed. <laughs> it's a bed post like thing. Look at her crawling in bed and I'm fucking all getting all comfy. I'm glad I made the show nice to come to it for both you ladies because uh, you both support me so much. I mean, when I was going through hard times, even you both have reached out to me in Messenger and said, you okay? I'll send prayers to you. Laura reached out to me once. I was having a bad day a long time ago. Um, and that's beyond Facebook. That's real life shit. So I respect and love you both. I appreciate you. Same thing with Heather. You know, we, we really, we really, I mean, like you said, your picture of you in front of the Hocus Pocus house in Salem, Heather's like, who's that? I go, that's the witch. <laughs> well, you know, Amanda, I'm saying you had that. So yeah. um, let's talk some fun shit. What do you guys do for like food and shit? I know ladies hate to talk food, but come on now. Barbecue, pizza. What do you, what are your ladies into? After like a big 
say a big uh, podcast or a big investigation or something, big trip. My favorite thing is lobster rolls. She's a New Englander at heart, Heather. You fucking <laughs> see that? She ain't lying. She's a fucking uh, Bar Harbor girl. That and ch and chowder. Isn't that how they say how they say chowder? Chowder. chowder yeah. Can you believe here in the state chowder. of Maine, where, where lobster lobster is going to be the cheapest anywhere in the United States? It's going to be yep. here in Maine. I know that for sure. Lobster rolls like ten fifty. Right now, $20. they're twenty dollars a lobster roll right now, which is insane. But they're usually, calling out back though. Usually, we're paying like ten dollars a lobster roll here. If, if so, I can't imagine what lobsters like across the country, you guys, because here. Thank you, Lilac. Ooh, they don't have it. They don't have the good stuff here. I always, and it's funny because Laura will seriously look at me and be like, "Are y'all and my husband? Are you going to eat anything else?" But no, that's what I like. That's what I'm going to eat when I'm here. Preach. I know Heather's daughter's like that. She goes, "I don't like pickles. They're gross." I go, "They don't fucking eat them more for me. No pickles. Yeehaw! Fuck that." I oh. I agree. Pickles are disgusting. Oh, Laura, I was just going to, I, you're losing respect by the second. No, just kidding. So he has moonshine pickles. I'm just going to grab them. Those, those are disgusting. Those are disgusting. No, Actually, I can't, don't I, grab them. I can't say, like, I haven't tried them because. Um, this one's he, for Laura. The face he makes makes me never want to try them. Tennessee bound. Hold on. Yeah, that's fucking that, proof. And they still that. snap. Don't, Listen. Don't, don't eat that. No. <laughs> it's like no <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> I want I want to see him light one on fire and use it as a torch and down Ooh, going downtown. Shit. I don't know yeah. why I do this to myself. It's Laura. funny for eating those because <laughs> watching the, there's this southern lady on TikTok and she's been up all week like different things. And I it I just die laughing because she's just like bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the double dare kidding me. I used to love double dare on Nickelodeon when I was a kid. Oh, so Laura, you gotta answer me. What's your go-to, hun? What's your what's your favorite munchie or, or edible or drink or whatever? Oh. Well, when when I come up there, um, who? The first time I came up there, we were actually in Boston. They had the zoo down there. They had um, yeah, the, these lantern, the jack o' lanterns that were lit up. And uh -oh. mom and I walked across the street to this Italian place. And I kid you not, I got a calzone that was like as big like is like this big it was huge it was he said it was meant to feed 10 people and i ate it all by myself and yes I, I, laura's I, the best we go that's, my girl. Girl. <laughs> that's I'm fucking wait, amazing i'm waiting on it i keep to, i didn't get to get one the last time because we didn't go down there but i told mom i was like i'm getting a calzone this time did you hurl did you hold it all in did you feel no. like <laughs> john we were just welcome john we were just talking about how awesome nicole is oh there's yeah. nicole's uh husband we're just oh, talking about Nicole and what a great, great, great person she is. Of course, you're a great person too. What a great reading though that she gave to Laura. Did she read you to Amanda or just Laura? Yeah, she did me too. She gave me some 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 creepy things. Mom, and mom, I never was, saw mom anything. was salty though because my aunt and my grandma came in for me and they didn't <laughs> do it for her. I was oh. like, what the to me? But she was <laughs> like, because they wasn't. Because I'm the favorite. Her. Whatever. <laughs> I'm the favorite. And no shame. And she's modest, too. Yeah. Your wife is awesome, John. You're awesome, too. One of the best guitar players, uh, personally, that I know. Because I don't know yeah, where to get him. Teach me how to play guitar. I don't know how to play guitar. I have a whole acoustic in my living room that I hand-painted that my grandpa gave me, and I don't know how to play it. Oh, Hell's Bells by Christmas, or you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's I never too late, Laura. Never too late. Yeah. Um, Okay, so we got about 15 minutes left. We can go a little bit over. Is there anything you girls want to touch base on? Where can people find your show? Let's get a little serious for a minute. Where can people find you guys? You're on Anchor, right? Uh, Any place else? YouTube and shit? You go ahead and name drop some stuff for me. Uh, uh, go ahead. Apple and Spotify. Really? And it's just... It's we want to we wanna start trying to do the do the video, like the, the live broadcast, but it's so hard with us working on for work. One's in I mean, bed, one's in the car. <laughs> I'm testing on the side of the road in like the ghetto right now, but my doors are locked. So oh, Amanda. Well, uh, well, if you get robbed, at least we get on video. We'll fucking get him. We'll get him for good. you. Uh, it, and I, it, it, it's not really that bad of a place, but I can tell it's not a good place. But no, I'm good. Holy I got my shit. doors locked, so I'm fine. Well, oh. Heather, I know you said that you have a bulldog. What other pets do you have? Is it just. 
So I have um, a, a cat who doesn't hardly get any like love on my Facebook because my dog is literally in my face all the time. She's ask, ask all a little white patch on her chin. She's she's a tuxedo cat and she's the softest, cutest thing. Her name's Ruby, but we call her Aww. Doodle. We call her Doodles, and she's she's a uh, yeah, she's just a sweet little thing. I call her Doodle Bop, and whenever I call her, I sing. I'm like Doodle Bop, Doodle Bop, Doodle Bop, Rock. <laughs> Or I'll be like, doodle, doodle, doodle. Yeah. Like, I'm always fucking singing, man. I get that Frank Sinatra in me. That and is that I'll... is true. It's never, it's not very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Often. Yeah, but that is not I, it's not a bad thing. It's it's not a bad thing. It's very quiet when he's I'm constantly around. dragging her to like a movie. I'm like, let's go. Stephen King shot a film here. Let's go. So-and-so's buried here. Hurry up. So-and-so committed a murder over here. <laughs> UFO was seen here. Pack your bags. Ah, fuck. <laughs> It's exhausting, but I love it's it. It's so I fun. It. Life's a big fucking journey. If you really dig it, you ladies know you go what's up. You like you say you love like what are your favorite places to go is Salem. Like, how could it not get better than that? Have you all been to New Orleans? You must be out that way, Louisiana. Yeah. Ah, I've been in, jelly. A Laura I've too, been, yeah. I've been in Louisiana, but I, I never get to stop it. Well, you've been there when you I've live. been in I've been Ooh. in New Orleans for work, but it's not a place that you really want to be at by yourself. So I've not it gone hectic. in it. <laughs> so bad, That's dog. fair. That's fair. Valid. Like my youngest daughter, we were literally going to get out in the daytime and we didn't even get out of the car because they started like gunshots. We were like, okay, it's time to go home. We're going home. During Mardi Gras or just in general? Just in general. And there's God literally damn. people that will come and get try to get in your car with you. And I'm oh. like, whoa, no. I gotta, oh, I got to I gotta, I gotta show That's you guys insane to me. It's I, different. When my, and now, if my husband was with me, it wouldn't have been a big deal because he, you know, he carries a gun, so he ain't going to Yeah. Know. But, yeah, I was like, uh-uh, we're going to have to come back when he is with us because we didn't w even want to get out of the car. That reminds me of a National Lampoon's vacation. Roll them up. <laughs> Roll them up. Hey, uh, Laura, up. Laura, someone says hi real quick. Hi. Hi, <gasps> We talked about you, Nicole. Like I say, people, like, I, I, and I love you all, but you guys don't have to tune in right when my fucking show starts. You know what I mean? I'll totally write you out of my will, but you don't have to tune in right when I'm just kidding. It go, this will be on Spotify. This will be on YouTube tomorrow. My channel will be the hard copy, and I'll yeah. definitely have them back. And, and it was, it was we, can, we can go over if you ladies don't mind. I'm sure Amanda wants to get going soon, but we got about 10 minutes left. Um, I gotta I'm going to ask a question. Oh, go ahead. I got to show you guys my spooky pajamas. Look at them. Oh, oh hell look, yeah killer you really are you're both halloween all you really are witches. you're halloween all year yeah you well, look at my shirt i got on her shirt but look Myers, or, or is it isn't it michael oh Myers? shit heather tarantula sorry man let's get you beat for a second oh yeah, my no, fucking god got a big -ass tarantula. You show her okay that. okay okay now you can put it away now i'm getting itchy put it away please <laughs> thank you no 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather look at poltergeist. I've anyway, never had so been to see the pickles. All right, yeah, Laura's right. going up the screen. So, Don't Amanda, what's your nice. story? <laughs> How would your shirt look like? <laughs> oh, okay. So, this is a Michael Myers shirt. Oh. And then my jacket says, Never trust the living, and it's black Amen. crap. I have black a bunch craft. of black crap. Yeah. Black crap <laughs> is my thing. Oh, and Laura's got a fucking ACDC with a tarantula. You got black craft, satanic cult shit. Heather's yeah. got the pentagram. I mean, we live it. That's why you're all my people. That's why I want to have you on because we always have fun when we talk. Yes, Nicole, we'll be on YouTube tomorrow. My YouTube channel, Historically Haunted. All my archives go there. It'll always be on my Historically Haunted podcast channel. And I'm sure I'll, I'll share it with the ladies on their page and all that good stuff. And be sure to catch them. They have their own uh, podcast, Two Witches and Spooky Spirits. Does that drop every week or monthly, right? Every week. We try to do it every week. Sometimes we get busy, and we're trying to get better at it now that we're getting a little more seen, you know. But it's just hard. Yeah. Sometimes and my dad, my dad's health's bad, so we just. But we're oh. trying to stay every week. So. I love that you. Sometimes you have guests, but but sometimes you focus on topics or like a certain like that's you focus on. That's yeah. what I told Laura. She's always like, "We need a guest." I was like, "But you want to know something?" A lot of times they just like us bullshitting with each other and just talking, you know, like. 
I last week it was a trial run. It was my first day here, and I go, I'll be by myself. Heather goes, I'll be your guest. I go, ah, no one's gonna want to tune in. We have fucking like thirty views. People are talking. Not that they're not now, but last yeah. week it's like sometimes as long as you keep the ball rolling, what's it matter? I mean, if you have a good topic, I don't yeah. want to talk about toenail lint for an hour, even though some people probably like that shit. Or yeah. not toenail lint, belly button lint. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have a favorite but. podcast that you've done so far? Like, cause I, I was looking through your stuff. I know, like, I love. For me, I'm gonna say what I think is really cool. I like the the when you did the covered the one with Abe Lincoln and then the effects of the oh, White House. Oh yes, yeah. I like that one. It's like it's the beginning of June. I think you dropped that. I like the um, Salem one was good. But yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you guys have like a favorite so far? Good I question. think my favorite one was the ones with Adam. The one that was a good with, one. And then I want one with you eventually. That will that, be your favorite. Yeah, that'll be one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, that, uh, Chris McKenna was great. He's, yeah, he's always great. Grandson, the founder of War Legacy. You guys have got some big names on there. Yeah, well, we get ideas from you because we run out, and then people be sending us stuff, and we're like, oh, okay, well, maybe we'll just get those on there too. Because I, I got some poaching off me, but I, how I look at it is, it's not even poaching because we're all in it together. We're all in it to fun. You guys got me on your show. If you guys get a great guest, I'm probably going to steal them off you too. Well, yeah, because you don't even, half the time people don't, don't the really, anything. they don't know who people are yet. They don't, they, well, they everybody don't. Know, like, a lot of people know Chris, but I mean, for the like, most part. I didn't know who Kenneth Drake was a year and a half ago. And that, and I think he's great now. You know, I didn't know who Chris McKinnell was four years ago. Yeah. You know, and I think he's a wonderful person. I mean, I knew who Ed and Lorraine were, but I didn't really go as deep as i am so yeah laura um, what's your favorite episode so far what's your favorite like topic i guess or or even get or one of each i guess i'm made two besides people what's your favorite topic so far that you both have covered laura first um i definitely want to get more into um i want to have some conspiracy theories episodes for sure like black eyed children or like the men in black type shit yeah yeah um i like that stuff i can dig that I, I used to watch that show on uh, I used to watch a lot of Discovery Channel growing up and there was a show on there and it was talking about uh, mythical like legends and stuff like uh, what do you call it like the Chupacabra and stuff I want to oh do yeah like myths and legends or like uh, like yeah the cryptids cryptozoology yeah like, when to go I was thinking, I was gonna ask you that well actually man you you first what's your favorite topic besides guests like it was a covering Salem you think uh, witches in general, um, I want me and her to start, we've already talked about this on the podcast, when we're out places like this, we want to start stopping and doing like what y'all do, and then just start doing our podcast, like walking through Not cemeteries maybe. or haunted places, but it's hard when we're in two different states, but we're going to try to get where we're together more, and yeah. we can do that, because I think that would be cool like the other day i went and walked around the savannah cemetery and i've never been able to get inside of there because it's always closed but it was open and i was just having a good old time but i was by myself we oh were- yeah but you had to take advantage of it huh well, you Man, really, trying- though. yeah that's right <laughs> you weren't alone <laughs> yeah that's true so there sometime this month or next month um i personally want to go for the fourth of july i want to go down there and go to the beach, and then when we're on the way back home, like stay for a night and do an episode. But, but oh, yeah, on the road episode that'd be dope. Good that's idea. What, that's what we want to do with y'all. Like, so we need to set the dates out and see when y'all are available because I want to get like we're going to rent a car, so maybe we can all get together and just go like ghost hunting and record it on all of our podcasts like oh like, yeah we'll was- do like a multi-podcast thing like a old like a yeah um yeah. lilac says real quick i did encounter a few trailers on a older gentleman in the grocery store trailer i don't know what that means like like a movie trailer <laughs> uh zapped half my energy in just a few seconds oh i don't know maybe she misspelled something has anyone else ever experienced such something like this like has someone ever zapped so it's it encountered a few something on an older gentleman. I found a huge a few. What would she was trying to say that would have zapped her energy? Um, Has anyone else ever experienced this? Like, well, we talked earlier a lot, like about draining. Which, yeah. which I, if that's the same thing, um, it, I know Laura said she was drained a couple times on a Friday, and Amanda as well. Yeah. 
I, I think it's just an overload of oh trailers like like a trail oh like res know. residual trail we're thinking i'm thinking tractor trailer sorry i just watched like a movie trailer we, we totally just did stephen king maximum overdrive like Ooh. um video filming sites and stuff like they that so the truck stop where you get the idea for it. the trails you're thinking move yeah. you're thinking a, a movie trailer uh, so man is, uh, well man is in texas right now but she's originally from georgia as well as her daughter and is that where you are right now uh laura you're in georgia yeah she's, she's in georgia and i'm on my way back from texas i was i just dropped about two or three hours ago so i'm on my way back home I'm in uh, right around Shreveport right now, so. Oh, that's Louisiana, so. Texas is where they filmed uh, the original Evil Dead and the first yep. three Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacres. Me <laughs> and my brother, we were younger. We I remember getting tickets, and me and my dad, and my brother, and going to see Evil Dead, and oh. Me of the Dead, and all, all my Army of Darkness, and all that stuff. Oh, those are like my favorite movies, but it's. Uh. Weird. Because my husband looks like him. Ah, yes, fucking hey, I, love, <laughs> I want a Jason mask so fucking bad. I met Kane Hodder, and when I met him, he played Jason Voorhees and Jason Takes Manhattan and shit. And when I met yeah. him, he's like, "What do you want?" I go, "I want a picture with you." He's like, "What do you want me to do?" I go, "Put your fucking machete to my throat." And he went like that right to my throat. And I'm like, ah! like he was cutting my head off. I was fucking amazing. I and love that shit. That yes, I know Laura likes horror too. You must love Freddy and all that shit, right, Laura? We got ah. the. Um, I think our favorite thing, Laura, you go ahead. Tell them about who we got to meet before they passed away. Well, I was going to say that before you interrupted me. <laughs> oh. Mother-daughter, guys. They're not fighting their mother-daughters. This yeah, is everyday, we're not, we're not this is everyday shit, so don't get panicky out there. Oh, two witches are going to stop? They were fighting. I can tell they're going to break up. No. Oh, no, they're related. They're good. Uh, Laura, no. so go ahead before you were rudely interrupted by Mama. Um, what the fuck's up with you? What do you like for horror shit? Not horror shit, horror shit. Um, there's a convention that's in Atlanta that comes around around my birthday. Um, it's called um, what is Days it? Of the Dead. Days of the Dead. Um, and they Ooh. have they have a bunch of uh, actors from old movies and stuff. I I got a picture with every person that's played Jason. Um, I got a picture with Sid Hag before he died. Oh, oh wow! wow. Yeah, Sid was in fucking all Rob Zombie's movies, even Three from Hell. He died during the making of Three from Hell. Sorry. And we got, and we got a picture with Bill Mosley too. I, I was about to say it's a it's a Polaroid. I have to go through my stuff to try and find it, but when I do, I'll definitely show you it. Wait a minute, Polaroid. Would you meet him in 1984? What the fuck's going on here, <laughs> Polaroid Amanda? Polaroids are back. <laughs> Little por portable camera, and she brought it with her. And yeah, that no was shit. The, that was the last year he was alive. And oh, God. thank God she had that Polaroid, huh? Yeah, uh huh. No shit. Fuck, oh, she's gonna go get it. Look at her out, jumping out of bed. Yay, Laura. <laughs> Sid fucking Hag, dude. Um, you know what? He was actually in movies in like the sixties. No, hey, just what? yeah. He's been around. He's got like a I want to say thirty oh, no. movies under his belt. If that's yep. right, I he think did. Laura froze. Yeah, she, she probably walked walked too far away from the Wi-Fi and right. we'll connect again when she comes back in. She froze. Look at her face. Yeah. <laughs> there oh, she is. Back. We got her back. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's walking. She's walking back. She's in. like the Illuminati. Oh, I only right. see one eye. She's stuck in conspiracy. She got her eye covered doing the triangle. Yeah. Yeah, but that that was our favorite. I think one of our favorite things because that's special. I mean, I was running. <laughs> I was running outside, and my boyfriend's like, where the hell are you going? You lost your <laughs> you froze on your face a couple times and your eye and shit. You'll see the replay. <laughs> Look at the camera. Oh, my God. Amanda, did you get that for her? Did I get you that one? No. Um. So my dad's sister, uh, her boyfriend has, like, eight of them, and I told him that I've always wanted one, and that one's actually from New England, so it's from... No kidding. Huh? No shit. Oh, it's a Yankee camera. I ain't uh, fucking... Consider <laughs> 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 me a traitor just for having it. Yeah. <laughs> I almost said something, but it might be racist, but you know what? Fuck, I got black friends. Every <laughs> If you ever take a picture, every, all the black people are always all happy because it's a Yankee cam camera. That's racist. I shouldn't have said that. Don't worry. I have a lot of black friends, and being happy is a good thing, so that's not a bad thing. Yeah, Laura's boyfriend's mixed, and everybody gives her hell about stuff, and she's just like, he's still his, to his this dad's day? white. His dad's white, and his 
his mom is black. So mm -hmm. right Heather knows I got a crush on a black girl. The rest are Naomi, for God's sake. Everything's good. Yeah. Dude, life's too short to hate on people because of color or fucking ancestry. Like, gee, or whatever the fuck. Right, because like, if you're an asshole, you're an asshole, no matter what you got a vagina, like. boo. You can't ghost hunt. You're a girl. Give me a fucking break. Small-minded pricks. Anyway, so we're talking to two witches, and if you down them, they're going to put a hex on you, so be cool to them. <laughs> um, we're, hey, we're over by five minutes. Um, I don't mind going a tiny bit over till 8.10. Is it cool? Six more minutes out of you, Amanda? That's Then fine. you can get out of the ghetto. That's yeah, I'm good. It's not dark yet. I'm good. I just want you to drive off on four cinder blocks. I feel like shit. <laughs> they better not take it off my new car. I'm <laughs> so, so Laura, um, since you're not paying attention, no, just kidding. Uh, what were you? You were burning some sage a minute ago. Is that your thing? Do you, I asked both of you too. You guys both believe in, in yeah. So you're already nodding. Sedge, uh, sage, sage, rocks, sedge. I was gonna say gems, but gems, rock, sage, incense. Yeah. Shit like that is that your your stuff? Yeah. Yeah. See this, I have a ring. It's a labradorite ring. It's an antique. It's hundred years old. I got it in Savannah, and I love it. I wear it every day. Savannah, Georgia. Eric Knapp's from there. There's a lot, a lot. You know, as you know, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. A lot, a lot of Civil War history and history in general. A uh, general in Savannah, Georgia, the cemeteries. As you went into, you must have been, like you said, you don't feel bad at a cemetery laura either you guys feel we, kind of uplifted right we love it like it's peaceful isn't it there's it's so there's one there's one exception and that would be the witch's graveyard and i don't fuck with that place oh please do tell i want to know about that the end of the show where the fuck is the witch's graveyard <laughs> mom where's that yeah where's that at, at it's in smyrna georgia it's right outside of atlanta googling the town heather it's actually called the Concord Baptist Cemetery. Concord Baptist Cemetery in Atlanta, Georgia? A little south of Atlanta, Georgia, you said? Yeah, it's like right around, what, about 20, 30, maybe about 20 miles, something around there. But that's one of our episodes also. So it's, is that, was that our first episode, Laura? Our second one? It was one of those two. Well, anyway... I Listen about it. It's in it's in the first few episodes that we did. So I dropped the Yankee candle and instantly started whistling Dixie. Um, <laughs> so so fucking lilac. She's funny. She's a repeat. Uh, I would say repeat customer, but I ain't selling anything. Um, she's yeah. a repeat watcher. Um, but that sounds bad. Repeat watchers. Can you get in trouble for that? I think I know a guy that would get in trouble for that. Um, yeah. So so Amanda, like you said earlier, that was one of one of the first episodes you guys have done. Um, you guys are going strong now. Um, I I believe I kicked off the second season for you guys. Is that right? You sure what's did. Up? Oh, yeah, what's up, hi, what's up? You can say hi. What's Good. going on? What's up, homie? You look um, exactly how I pictured you being. You're like, <laughs> hell, fuck. <laughs> It's good. Um, yeah, your 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 voice definitely matches your face. I can say I'll that. take it. When people say that, they go, they ask if I'm Amish. I go, no, man, I'm just some they, stoner from Maine that fucking grows my beard up to stay warm. I think they talk about, like, uh, mediums talk about seeing somebody in your mind's eye, and you were exactly how I, I was picturing you. Nicely Fuck. done. Push over a little bit, Laura. Squeeze over a little bit. What's up? What's your he's name, too, my friend? He's too big. Oh, um, I'm CJ. CJ, what is up? Nice to meet you. Oh, Adam, nice historian, shake your hair. Yeah, I would. There you go, brother. Good, good. Well, she was just talking about. She's like, I ran out. My boy was like, Where the fuck are you going? I'm going. <laughs> I said, uh oh. I was, I was telling him I was nerding out about the Polaroid. That's why I ran outside. It's because we were talking about. Oh, going the old timey, the fat one. Yeah. Yes, the old timey camera, brother. I said, Well, she said she was. I took a Polaroid. I said, What? 1984? You're not even that fucking old, are you? You mind if I smoke uh, another joint or what? Oh, that's what he does. This one's for my new friend. <laughs> I have one. I can. I can spark up with you. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yeah. Where the fuck were you an hour ago, guy? He's been he he doesn't bother me when I'm on my podcast. Does he? Oh, that's does cool. he? I don't mind. This is a fun show, man. Does he ever I, join? I want to ask him a couple questions too. Amanda, oh go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Heather. That's all right. Okay. No worries. It's very exciting. Does I want to say, like... Amanda, what about your husband? I know you guys run a trailer, uh, uh, like a, like some sort of operation. Does he help you at all with the podcast or, or any ghosting stuff? Uh, he told he's told some of his ghost stories on um one of uh, a couple of our podcasts, but yeah, he's um. Here it is, we are. 
I'll have to have them on sometime. Maybe we'll do one with just you and him, and then I can get Laura and her half on. It's my show, and I don't. I, a lot of people are like, well, will you book a lot of people that are your friends. I go, yeah, that's the point. I don't want stranger fucking big headed pieces of shit. That well, yeah. I've been on Rescue Nine One One. Get the fuck out of here. I yeah, want down I mean, people that are real. It doesn't real, mean you're. It doesn't trip. mean you're an interesting person. It just means you had an interesting. Opportunity. I mean, this hour flew this by, and right. people are loving the chat. Oh, Amanda, uh, yeah. Amanda Gerard had me at altar. First time we spoke, we talked about the altars in our bedroom. Oh, uh -huh. Jesus. We're going into that. Well, this is almost 8.30. It's PG-13. Now we're almost right in our hour. So you got a mantle in your bedroom. Let's talk about no, that. An altar. <laughs> an altar, baby. Here's uh -huh. homie. What's up, brother? Uh -huh. No, we ha I have an altar. Cheers, man. Oh, and I have an altar. Um, I have like a big sun porch, and I have an altar out there. It's huge. But the one she's talking about is in my bedroom. But it's weird because she described my bedroom. She's never been in my house. She knew what color my curtains were. Damn, that Nicole. Goosebump. I was that lady's legit. If somebody wants to know something, please message her because she is for real. Cheers, well, brother. I yes, don't know. Nicole, when I was after my car accident, Nicole gave me a reading and she knew all about my mom. Mm -hmm. In my car accident, I died for 38 seconds and my mom came in and told me to get out. And I haven't mm -hmm. done acid since the 90s, so I wasn't tripping out. I was in a car fucking accident. And my mom, who passed away, whose car I was in, told me to get the fuck out. And mm -hmm. I ended up in the hospital. I told Heather, I said, my airbags are orange. My mom talked to me. She goes, airbags are white. You're all set. We go to get to my car the next day. The fucking airbags are orange, yo. And I'm like, my, my, my necklace was there, my fucking wallet, my cell phone. Everything, like literally, when we rolled up onto the car, well, half of it was just gone. The, yeah. part, the, front, the front part was pretty much just smushed in. And the back half of it had parts of his car and parts of the other car all in there. However, in the front seat, where you would sit was his laptop, um, his CDs, <laughs> his necklace that had his mother's ashes, ashes, and maybe one other thing. I, no, his cell phone. His cell phone. It was all in the fucking... And I had, sea, seat, I had, dude, no. I had fucking seaweed the, on the back the of my paramedics, truck. The paramedics and the tow truck driver... Though. I was fucking dead for 38 yeah, seconds. Yeah, the paramedics and the tow truck driver, they're not going to sit there and go through and looking for... Okay, we got this now. Let's put it here. Okay, we got this now. Let's put it here. No, they got him in the ambulance. They Salute, took him out. They got, that, they got that on the tow truck. Like, you know, so how did that happen? I know, in my mind. Yeah, I you my, know. my soul, but you know, real, real quick, I want to talk to my homie here. You said you pictured my face with, with, with my voice. Have you done that before? Do you have some sort of connection too? I want to talk to you real quick, even though we're running out of time, mm -hmm. so to speak. Got about eight more minutes or so we can go over. But do you feel connected to this shit too, brother? Um, mm -hmm. I, I have, I think I would like to say I have a, a really good intuition. Like, there's been mm -hmm. like lots of moments, like, I've had near death experiences where, like, I feel like I always pay attention to my gut feeling. You know what I'm saying? Why like, Laura likes you? You're part of the family already. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if if I have a bad feeling about a situation, like I'll feel it. Yeah, like, out. It yeah. feels like my whole world is shaking. It's well, exactly what Amanda started. said. Like Amanda, you trust you trust your instincts, and I think you guys all intuition. I should say not instinct. Oh, yeah. no. yeah. you, you you know it. You well, want to go into a place. You want to go someplace. But if something's telling you that's bad, I yeah. better. Keep going. Yeah, it, well, well, it's I crazy that being a pussy. Fuck that shit. I'll I'll, I'll save my life. Yeah. For free, thank you. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, shit. I mean, I'm. I wouldn't say I'm afraid to die, but like, I'm definitely not gonna throw caution to the wind. You know what I'm saying? Like, good man, CJ. Question look, for you, brother. Yeah, question. Yeah. Guy's been in the fucking thing for two minutes. Never even promoted. He's got a question already. I can't say. Nicole, oh, no. <laughs> Nicole the, uh, Hill says, CJ, are you a Cancer, uh, a Sun, or a Moon sign? Do you know? Um, I am an Aquarius, um, and my yeah, sun and my moon is both in Pisces. Your, yeah, both your rising and stuff is both. They're actually like yeah, days apart or seven days apart, something like that. Um, oh, I'm born on the, I'm born on January 21st, and she's born on the 28th. Oh, look at that New Year's babies, little. Were baby. you, were like you guys born? January babies, I love Were it. you born right around your due dates? Um, like what, she was two weeks late. So you're not supposed to yeah. be your your little your soul's a little different than yeah. what your earth your earth sign really is. Isn't love it? you, Betsy Lou. Thank you, Betsy. Yeah, thank, you. Rolls with the thank you, Betsy. Love you, Shane sweetheart. Pittman and Josh do yeah. holes of files and shit. She's a good support. She's thank awesome. you, Betsy. Uh, we'll see. Uh, what is in Pisces? What what is your, in, yeah? Your moon and your your rising are in Pisces. Uh, my moon, yeah, yeah. Moon and rising are in Pisces. Cool. 
Oh, but I wasn't I wasn't even supposed to be joined born on the uh twenty first. I was supposed to be born in December, but I was a whole month late. That was Laura too. It's weird because Laura was supposed to be a Christmas baby. Yep. Shut the fuck up. You both were a month Iowa late. Christmas mm -hmm. baby. Oh, it's the same we have month. we have the What's... look, I'm telling you, our relationship's so weird. Uh we have the same exact birthmarks in the same exact places. He has a giant You all are fucking pocket. aliens. Get the fuck off my podcast. You're all fucking <laughs> aliens, up. yo. Look, let's end this week. That's awesome. <laughs> his, um his oh, that's crazy. like I can like I can tell what he's gonna say before he's gonna say it, but I kind of just chuck that up too. We just spend too much fucking time together. I, I call it being on the same wavelength. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. There was this weird thing that happened the other day Night where Mary. He, he apparently was thinking about this song, and then I started singing it, and he was like, "Yeah, what the fuck?" Well, <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, back to what you were talking about intuition, and you were talking about you know car accidents and everything. Uh, I had a like a car accident. When when did I have that? That was a year ago now. Yeah, like about a year ago, but like. Um, it was like about five in the morning and in Georgia, we like, we have a highway called 285 where there's like hella, hella it's lanes on the highway. Busy. It's always backed up. Me and Laura were on the way to work that morning and like, we I was talking to that. her, I was talking to her and we, we were both like talking to each other, like, like I don't want to go to work over the radio and we were like, man, I have a bad feeling about something. Like I have a lot of anxiety this morning. Yeah, I, was I was like, like I, I feel like something go. bad is going to happen. And she was like, yeah, I, I feel the same way. And then like. A couple of minutes after that, I got hit. Like, mm -hmm. uh, in the back, she was going like 90, spun me out three times on the highway. She hit me so wow. hard that she popped three of my tires. And like, busted his back. Oh, oh my busted God. Busted my back windshield, broke my seat back, and I was horizontal in the driver's seat. Like, <laughs> see, not to jump in here, but this is the hard part about work and life. You can't call in or tell your niece you're going to miss her birthday party because you have an intuition. People are yeah. going to think this is a bullshit excuse. So you kind of have to follow through and then, oh, shit, it happened. And you tell people, I felt it. They don't believe you. It's fucking hard being being a sensitive or a yes. media. It's, it's, like, weird. it's weird, though, because that morning. You can't call in. I think it's, an accident is going to happen. I can't come into work. I think I have a bad feeling. They're going to go, fuck you. You're fired. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. um. We both woke up that morning and, you know, nor we love what we do. We normally don't ever call out of work. Like, it's very rare. So we we just both rolled over and I was like, I don't feel good this morning. And he was like, I don't feel good either. I was like, should we call yeah, out? Like, I should we just not go? And he was like, well, she's going to be pissed because it's last minute and we have to drive three hours to get out there. So we might as well just go. And we're literally, we literally just got off. It's a so, long ride to wing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, that, that's what I'm saying. When you go against your intuition, there's you always fucked. consequences. You the universe, the universe will show you not I, to, yeah, not, to I, not to doubt her. I well, think that I'm touches on Laura's whole um um shit, conspiracy theory type shit. Different otherworldly shit. We're not in tune with our senses, or we are in tune with our senses, but we're scared to admit it because we don't want to sound crazy or psychotic. There's but I so think many, some of us have so intuitions, like CJ said. Yet. There's so many senses we haven't even discovered yet, you know? So yeah. the fact that we could be, like, telepathic and stuff, like, it's totally out there. I mean, CJ. we all have... Mm -hmm. On mother's side. Oh, it's because it's that Caribbean, I told you. <laughs> oh, fuck, Caribbean? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Throwing with the pirates and the voodoo <laughs> priestesses. Oh, boy, <laughs> CJ. A lot of mercy. You got some fucking... You got some whiskey that's in you, my brother. Oh, that's the one that me and mom... Rum. Had. They really? said it's from your mom's side. That's the one that gave me a mom that reading. That is insane. That's what she I says. I'm telling you, you need to get a reading from her. Dude, yeah. Nicole's read me, Laura, and uh, Amanda. I think she read Heather, maybe. Did she, Heather? No, I don't forget. She's good. She's, She's right on, brother. I've definitely, I've know, definitely Laura. spoken to her about things, but I don't know if I've gotten like an actual. Reach out yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah. Laura. She does very <laughs> great prices, very good deals. Yeah, right. she is worth every bit of everything. I would send her a million dollars if I had. I, I don't really know how to. Careful, man. That's being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know how to describe it, and I don't mean to sound boastful either, because I don't. I don't feel like I'm that kind of person. But ever since I was little, I always felt like there was something different about me that I felt like I knew, you know, that other people like didn't have. And you kept it to yourself because you don't want to be the freak. Or later, yeah. the weirdo. Yeah. Or, yeah. or that. Or you, what stops you from embracing it, though? You uh, Laura, to... Amanda, CJ, even Heather, because you guys all have intuitions. Does that stop you from embracing it? 
Is the no. fear of what the public might think of you, so to speak, in the That's beginning? Well. No, because at the end of the day, we, we yeah. still have to do what we got to do to survive. I mean, last year we were like, you know what? Mark. F everybody. We're done. We're going to be. You can swear a Lord, Amanda. <laughs> Fuck them all. If they don't like you for who you are, but they think you're a fucking nut, go call the state institution. Until I'm in a fucking straitjacket, <laughs> sideways. I'll say what I want, do what I want. God bless exactly. America. God yeah. bless nothing, America. Nothing drives me. Like it's, it pains me. It, yeah. You're still there, CJ, right? Supposedly. Yeah. Yes, I mean, yeah, supposedly. Unless you say some people don't like you to hear. Then you, yeah, well, if you start thinking too much now, oh, that's a witch. That's how people like Amanda, Laura, and Heather got fucking hung because they spoke well, out a line. Wait a minute, you know too much. Hang them. Ah, they fucking I, feel like, I feel like I feel like that's how it's always been, though. I feel like. With I any like religion, if, with once any. Once you start saying things that goes against the narrative, they have to shut you up. They have Amen. To, they have to bring up a whole ministry of truth to lock you up, you know? God damn it. Mm -hmm. Where the totally fuck were you an hour ago, CJ, you bastard? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching The Sopranos. I was watching Real Marvel. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Hey, hey, though, it's okay. We're all going to see each other in October. So, yeah. Yes, CJ, you better come, too. Make sure you write down things you get in your sleep, everyone. No, uh, yeah. it can help. That's what I told I was just talking to you about that today, how she told me that. What? How, how she, she did, get, yeah. How she get more sleep? No, how she, she was telling me how I need to write my dreams and stuff down. I, I get a lot of Nicole is coming too, so you know what? That, I actually have something to say about that, though. Um, oh, and also Debbie. Debbie's an actress. She's also good people. Think, oh, that's great. That's good to thank know. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. Debbie. Um, this shows what I'm about. This is, I love promoting and I love talking about myself, but I love bringing on people that a lot of people don't know or know a little bit. And let's all fucking hook up because I want the right I people to go together, to man. Eat. And this I is good wait. people. This whole circle. I can't wait to meet all you motherfuckers. Along, along <laughs> what she said about dreams. Um, Same here, Laura. I have, I have a Same lot here, of premonition dreams, and mm -hmm. the way they no work kidding. is I, I don't, I only can see what's going to happen in my future when I go to sleep, and mm -hmm. and I have these premonition dreams, but I know as soon as they happen, and sometimes I can change the outcome of what's going to happen. Like sometimes oh, I know exactly what somebody's going to say the moment it yeah. comes. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like, Amanda, have you reached out to CJ as far as like the witchcraft thing goes? Do you partake in this witchcraft? Mm -hmm. I know Amanda kind of obviously, and even, even with Laura, you know, obviously even just the sage things, witchcraft, do you dabble in that as, with them? Amanda, have you, have you reached out at all? Do you, do you kind of push out on anybody at all or? Uh, I haven't, I haven't dabbled in, in witchcraft, but no. I do, I do believe yeah, in that's staging smart, things. Amanda. Whatever it is, I, like I say. If you're religious, you believe in God. If you don't believe in God, I don't judge. I'm not that type of person. You believe in what you want to believe in. I believe in what I believe in. And that's just the way it is. I don't push my... I think that's the way with anything. Like, as far as I'm concerned, as, as long as I know where I want and I know where I'm going, if, if I like yeah. this popcorn and I'm like, I'm not going to go, I'll go here, try this popcorn. I'd rather not. I'm not going to go, oh, you should try this popcorn. It's, it's the best it's thing you've ever fucking food. had. Try it or you'll go to hell. Like, I don't care. I, I tried it and it's like, you don't want to believe in this popcorn? Fuck it more for me. And you're right, Amanda. It's good not to push that on people, I think. Because that draws a bad image to whatever you're pushing. And yep. and like, Boy, Nicole uh, is really coming through with CJ tonight. <laughs> I know we're gonna run all your minutes out. <laughs> no, we're good. I know you're probably waiting to go for an hour and a half, so we're gonna take off now. Um, I wanted to have you guys come back on again on the vodcast and on the show. Um, that's of course the radio show, which is audio only. I can have you both on again, uh, CJ. Maybe I'll shoot up, reach out to you. Shoot me out a friend request on Facebook. Awesome, yeah. If you want to follow. No when problem. we when we get off here, we should just video call. We should just have a group video call so that way we can nerd out. Yeah. yeah nerd out. I gotta drive. Well, <laughs> don't you well, drive, I'm don't you drive. drive and watch. Actually, yeah, uh, man, uh, we'll let you go. I'm gonna wrap with them for another uh we're gonna wrap another seven minutes. I'll let you go and we'll just wrap with them. Is that cool? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. All right. Right. Mama, I love you. Be Say bye to Laura, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. She's in a fucking car. She's not relaxing. I feel so bad. We'll I talk to you soon, Laura. I just want to say I love Amanda, it. Sure. Thank you for the support, and I'll see y'all later, and have a good night. Your ass hey, comes to you. Salem. You're looking us up, girl. We are. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Everybody say bye to Amanda. Bye. Bye, bye Amanda. Bye, Thank bye. you. I love you. All right. We'll wrap another seven minutes here. I know she's in a car in a parking lot in the ghetto of Texas. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Um, but anyway. Um, I did I did have a question for you, though. Uh, 
if you don't mind me asking, what I love it. Yeah. What, what does it what does it feel like to die? Did do you did you did you see anything? Did you feel anything? You, you know, want to hear the most fucked up thing? And I tell Heather this. Sometimes I have night flashes or visions, terrors, we want to call them. I feel like I'm in the ambulance when they woke me up. I don't. Rem I remember stopping. There's a little record store called Bull Moose Music. There's a lot of moose in Maine, and I, I stopped in the parking lot and I ordered a pizza from Little Caesars. Yo, five bucks, cheap enough, right? And I told Heather, I said I ordered a pizza. I'm coming back to pick it up. I'll be there in 20 minutes. And I hung up the phone. I pull out of the parking lot, and then I wake up, and I'm in a fucking ambulance with a morphine dripping me and my clothes out, my little dink hanging out. I go, what the fuck's going on? Are you all right? You know who the, you know who the president is? Who can we call? Who can we call? I go, what the fuck happened? Your car's totaled. You've been in an act. I don't remember, CJ. I do not remember shit. I had a yeah. fucking vision that my mom came to me when my they, the, the ambulance told me, people told me that my car was upside down, and when I came to, I was sitting Indian style by the car, making the bystanders laugh, telling jokes. <laughs> fucking ace that's that's me cj because that's yeah. me i'm you know as you can tell this is no shit dude if i meet you in person i'll be this you can ask heather i, I am what i am this is me See, i don't have a reason to go gonna... yeah now live with the vodcast we're talking to fucking cj yeah. so this is really me and, and i go wow dude honestly i don't remember seeing heaven god i don't remember seeing the devil i just remember waking up it's almost like i was just out and they had to revive me i had roosters on my chest from when they fucking battled me and shit um I'm gonna get Definitely wasn't I was getting, time to go there. It was fucking rough, dude. 38 yeah, seconds, not a long you time. But back in. It was pretty wild, brother. Um, and then I was homeless for three years. I lived in an RV in the back of a flea market parking lot with no power, shitting in the bushes and showering at uh, my sister's and workout places and stuff. And, and now I came into about uh, half of, half of a, a little bit more than half of $100,000. And I bought and paid for a mobile home that I owned myself. I got flat running water. So God's good, man. Yes, um, I'm glad. I'm glad you're blessed. That's awesome. Thank you. I I'm went from dying and being homeless to having my own Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. And talking to blessed people like you and Laura and Amanda. See, seriously, like we were saying earlier, race, color, creed. If you have yeah. a, a twat, dude. If you're a transgender. If you're black, Mexican. I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. I'm Italian. Yeah. I'm half German. I'm or not even German. I'm actually I'm Canadian. I'm Italian. And I'm, I'm not even any of that. I'm not even a straight white man. You know what I am? I'm a fucking soul. And that's what you guys are. Yeah. That's how I look yeah. at life. You know what? I, I feel the same way. I feel like my heart is big enough to anybody. You know what I'm Hit saying? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. If you're, if, you're, <laughs> if you're a friend to me, I'm a friend to you. I love that shit. That's all me and Heather say. We just want decent people. I don't care if you've been on TV shows, you've written books. That's all well and good. If you're an actor, you're an actress, you're a fucking millionaire, you're a porn star, that's all well and good. Well, that's kind of cool. But that's all well yeah, and good. Yeah. But for the most part, dude, if you're just a humble dude that I know is not going to steal from me or try to fuck my girl, then let's fucking go ghost hunting. Oh, yeah. Let's smoke oh, a yeah. joint. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, I'm big on loyalty. CJ is, when you and CJ meet, because uh, he's coming with me and mom to Salem, he... he oh, I'm stealing him from you. Oh, yeah. I already, got, I already got, got a man got, crush. It's over I'm now. <laughs> Look, he's gonna look. he's gonna nerd out because he's gonna have somebody to smoke with like a chimney. Hell yeah, we're oh, gonna go we'll hit up all the some old cemeteries where witches were fucking. Oh, CJ, we're gonna have let's some. Go, let's get high and, and go to and go, you know, explore some creepy cemeteries. Oh, it's so beautiful there, so beautiful. Especially there. with you getting the feeling and shit, you could you'd fit right in with guiding me because I'm I'm kind of the the little ADD boy off his leash, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, bridge, and and I need Heather and we, people we like make, CJ. To go we calm down. Is that... Yes, but you know what's up, though. You don't test fate. I'm kind of stupid. I'll chase a ball <laughs> off a cliff if it's got a pizza attached but to see, it. I have, I have ADHD, so I'll, I'll go with you, and then I'll be like, wait, 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 wait. Are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> and then I'm going to hold my joint. Watch this, CJ. Hold my joint. Look, tell him about when you were off. I love this guy. Shit. See, like, like sometimes, like, all right, I took acid one time, right? We took acid together. He was trying to jump off the back For me. When you take acid, bro, I, I didn't hallucinate or anything, but, like, I, to me, it, it felt like how somebody would take cocaine. Like, or how you would imagine it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, yeah. like, it felt like, I don't know where I'm going. She said you have a young Will Smith look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the there Will Smith. The... There it is. It's just because he's black. Do you bullshitting? <laughs> no, I've been, I've been, I've been, um... I've, I've been getting that my whole life. People are like, are you? Like, you do, though, brother. You do get a young, you got the young DJ Jazzy <laughs> Fresh. Like, my mom, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. But that's nothing wrong with that. Your personality shines it. through, though. I don't see anything but personality with you. I see your aura. Yeah. And it's not because the light's right in the back of your head. Heather, well, do you agree? These are some good I do, people. yeah. 
I, I'm yeah. a firm believer in being authentic. Like, you know, come come as you are. At least that's what they that's what they say in the Bible. And I'm not a super religious person. Like I'm Christian, no denomination, but so there's some there's some wisdom in it sometimes. I, it's good to hold that. I, I agree. It's so funny though. I agree. He's, he's right. He's, he's right. It's funny. It's funny though because he's always been very accepting of me and stuff. Like we've been we've been best friends since we were eleven. Oh it, wow! It's, yeah, you know it's funny that you say that. Nicole, Your is blue. When we were when we were in Salem, we actually got our aura photos taken, and his is uh his is purple on the outside, and like it's like a dark purple the on the outside, throat. and then it's blue on the inside, and then mine is the opposite. I can see that. Mine's blue and then purple on the inside. He's not he's not coming at me like he's he's, he's not trying to impress me. He's not trying to kiss my ass, but he's not trying to tough me out. He's just being a normal fucking straight up dude. Yeah, and that's yeah. what it's all about. Nicole with a blue heart. We love you, Nicole. Yep. You and John. Um, all right, guys, we better call it. Um, can people find you anywhere, CJ? Are you part of the podcaster team? Do you have your own shit? YouTube um, channel or anything? Um, CJ makes music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Drop it. Say awesome. it. Awesome. Hell yeah. Always. No, he's saying drop the link to it. Oh no, no plug it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> plug it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love uh, you. Have you haven't put it out on anything? Though, well, yeah. I mean, we we've dropped a couple of songs on like Instagram and everything like that. But I mean, I'd be really interested in, in you know people checking me out. I mean, if they like it, they like it. Um, I love it. I'm one of those artists. people who who. I let my music speak for myself. I wouldn't let, you know, I, I'm not one of those people who tries to hype up their music and then you're like, dude, this sounds like you made it in the garbage can. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> hey, you let the music hype itself out. And I like that, CJ. You're a man's what? man. You're a fucking people's person. Um, we gotta How do go. they find it? How do We're they find it? We're at the hour and a half mark. So we got to go. Um, CJ, would, would, you, would you two come back on, on my radio show or vodcast as guests for an hour sometimes? We could yeah, more. yeah. When do yeah and you, then when do you have any open av availability, Adam? I'm too fucking baked right now. I'll have to look. I'll, I'll you know, put out tomorrow. I got like fucking moonshine pickles in me and fucking. Oh, you see that? By the way, CJ, check that out. 80% moonshine pickles. Oh, yeah. CJ Ooh. doesn't like pickles either, Adam. Son of a bitch. You guys are the same people. Yeah. God yeah. damn. You all are fucking twacked. But um, you know what? I will. If you got any other moonshine, I will take you up on that offer. All right. You guys come to New England. We'll make a time of it. Yeah. Um. So that's it for Two Witches Scary... Uh, uh, oh, shit, I did it again. Two Witches Spooky Spirits Podcast. Two as in the number two. Two. And, and, number uh, two. And, and music artist CJ. Um, um, we'll hear more from him in the future because he's a sensitive too. And we made a new friend tonight. So thank you guys for watching the Historically Haunted Podcast, episode 24. It will be uploaded, uploaded on YouTube tomorrow and the channel permanently. Uh, pickled eggs. Ooh, all right, Debbie. Uh, no, thank you, everybody. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, no, don't do that. Thanks to I, my co-hostess, uh, Heather Witch and Community Witch and Life Guide. You guys want to say bye to anybody? Shout uh, outs. I want to say I want to say bye to Nicole. Well, thank thank you guys for um for inviting me. Shit, it means a lot to me more than you know. Yeah, this is <laughs> we're this gonna has get been you awesome. full time. No diss to Amanda. Um, we'll try to maybe just get her for a full hour because it was kind of hard, and then I think we could have you two for a full hour. And um, awesome. I'll reach out soon. We have openings in August for rate. I believe the radio, which is audio only and visual. That's Friday. You know about that. I'll release you fucking guys later. I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> yeah. and take a piss. I drank like three. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you guys have a great night. I'm gonna go yeah. finish this joint. CJ, many blessings, my new friend Laura. Yeah. Laura Barrett. Nice to meet you. Um, we already nice talked to, to Amanda Gerard, too. Heather Witcher Community, Adam Began. Adam, the uh, historian ghost hunter on YouTube. Fucking subscribe, dude. I just turned to Stephen King's movie spots. Went to a vampire's grave, house of tombstones. Subscribe to my channel and fucking do it. Love you and guys. Do it. Have a good night. And 